This is a quick video about Caesar, what it is, who it's for, and some changes that are coming to the way it works in the UK in just a few weeks. If you've never heard of this before, this is your first time hearing about Caesar, CESR, and you want to learn a bit more about it, I'll put a few helpful links in the description. Caesar, or CESR, is the Certificate for Eligibility of Specialist Registration. What it describes is essentially a way of joining the UK's specialist register, that is the list of people that are allowed to work as a consultant in a particular specialty without having completed the UK's national training program, or perhaps in broader terms that are easier to understand, how to become a consultant or the equivalent of an attending in the UK without having completed residency in the UK or specialty training as we call it here. And for those of you that still aren't sure exactly what I'm talking about, that's okay. The simplest way to think about it is this. In the UK, someone will finish medical school, which usually takes between four and six years. They will then complete the foundation program, foundation years one and two, which is our equivalent of the internship. And once they've done this, they are able to apply for a specialty training program post or residency. That specialty training program then takes a number of years, often as many as eight years, after which they will receive what's called a CCT, a Certificate of Completion of Training. That CCT pertains to the specialty that you have qualified in, and having that CCT enables you to join the specialist register to be accredited as a consultant, as an attending physician or surgeon in that specialty in the UK. And as such, you can be appointed by a hospital to a substantive, that is a permanent multi-year contract as a consultant working in that specialty. However, let's say that you are a qualified cardiologist, for example, working in Canada or Pakistan, or the Netherlands, and you want to come and work in the UK as a consultant. It would be silly and a massive waste of time to expect you to redo training right from the beginning. And in many cases, you would actually be overqualified, too qualified to be allowed to enter specialty training anyway. CESR or CESAR is the way by which you would show equivalency to a UK qualified consultant in that specialty. So once you have completed the CESAR process, you would be deemed equivalent to a CCT consultant who had trained in the UK and thus you would be allowed to work as a consultant in a permanent post just like someone who had trained and qualified in the UK. Or another practical reason why people might choose to use the CESR pathway instead of traditional training is if they are what is called a SAS doctor. If you are a specialty doctor in the UK, a permanent doctor working in one specialty but outside of formal traditional training, or indeed a specialist SAS doctor, that is a senior doctor working autonomously and independently just as a consultant would, you may wish, if you're in either of these circumstances, to work towards the CESR process and joining the specialist register yourself to start working as a consultant. So basically, the broad summary is that CESR, CESAR, is a way that a doctor can show equivalence to someone who has completed traditional medical training in the UK, after which you become eligible to enter the specialist register accredited in your specialty and as such be employed permanently in a substantive consultant post. So what is changing? Well, from the 30th of November 2023, so in just a few weeks from now, CESR will be renamed to the portfolio pathway. And the fundamental change is this, instead of showing equivalence to the outcomes for a traditionally CCT'd consultant physician or surgeon in the UK, candidates will instead need to show that they have the knowledge, skills and experience to enter the specialist register which is a slightly different thing. What this practically means for you is that the GMC and the Royal Colleges can be more flexible in terms of the evidence that they will consider when admitting people to the specialist register. It's to do with how things are defined in regulation and existing legislation. They will no longer be shackled to an absolute equivalency to the CCT, which is the current means by which people are admitted to the specialist register, and instead allowed to be slightly more flexible in deciding how people are admitted to the specialist register rather than being fixated on the absolute requirements for CCT as it has traditionally existed. The last thing to say is that this will look different for each specialty. How the Royal College of Anaesthetists tackles this problem will look very different to how the Royal College of Surgeons works on this. And I'll put another link down in the description which shows you how things are being developed for each particular specialty. So are you working towards 
Caesar? Are you currently working as a SAS doctor, a specialty or specialist, thinking about progressing towards the specialist register? Or are you an internationally qualified doctor, maybe a medical student, a resident or an attending, a consultant, whatever your equivalent, thinking about coming over and working in the NHS? Let me know down in the comments below. And good luck with whoever's working on it. I hope these changes make it easier to achieve what you want to achieve. But take care and I'll see you in another video.